will age. Allah will say to the dwellers of paradise, O people of paradise, is there anything else I can give you? The dwellers of paradise will respond, O oh Allah, didn't you beautify our faces, enter us into paradise and save us from the hellfire? You have given us what you have not given anyone else from your creation. Allah will then respond, shall I not give you better than that? Then Allah will remove his veil. Nothing will be more beloved and enjoyable than the vision of Allah. The ultimate pleasure one will experience in Jannah is the ability to see their Lord. There is no greater joy than seeing Allah's face. And this experience will stand as the Almighty's most precious gift to his servants who entered paradise. Some faces that day will be radiant, looking at their Lord. Allah will announce to them, death will never come to you again, and you will live forever. I am pleased with you today, and I will never be angry at you ever again. The inhabitants of paradise will be able to directly communicate with their Lord, acting as his friend and neighbor. The dwellers of paradise will differ in seeing Allah. Some will see him once a week, some will see him twice a day, etc., depending on the level of paradise they inhabit. According to our Prophet's narration, the people of Jannah will be able to see God with ease, just like we are able to see the moon here on earth. Ultimately, the life of this world is not meant for one to experience forever. It is a place where one resides temporarily. As a temporary destination, one should prepare themselves to the best of their ability for the next world, which is everlasting and their final destination. It is irrational and illogical for one to become too connected and too engrossed in this temporary world, while forgetting and not preparing for their final destination, the next world. The descriptions of heaven found in the Qur'an and Hadith are meant to inspire and encourage one to work harder and become a better person and servant of God. The acts of laziness, procrastination, carelessness, and not using one's intellect can prevent one from entering a abode of never-ending joy and pleasure. Say, the enjoyment of this world is little and the hereafter is better for he who fears Allah. One should note the finest and greatest things in this life do not come easy, and neither will the reward of paradise. One needs to strive to his or her best of ability to earn the pleasures of paradise. God states in his book, Race towards the forgiveness from your Lord, and a garden whose width is like the width of the heavens and earth, prepared for those who believed in Allah and his messengers. That is the bounty of Allah which he gives to whom he wills, and Allah is the possessor of great bounty. Quran 57:21. Our Prophet narrated, whoever guides another to a good deed will get a reward similar to the one who performs it. So please like, subscribe, and share this video. Assalamu alaikum.